bowline knot. Done with that forever. What's up guys, Dan here, Cold Cracker Bushcraft. So the bowline knot is not going anywhere. It is part of my arsenal. It will always be part of my arsenal. And um, it's one of those things that you should also be using when you're out here because it's very, very useful. Now, um, the thing is, there's always alternatives though. And there's sometimes this loop, which if you don't know what a bowline or what some people like to pronounce bowline, which they're wrong, okay? Um, if you don't know what this is, it's just a loop that doesn't slide, okay? Which most people can make this happen, but the nice part of the bowline knot is that it breaks free, okay? So you can put a ton of tension on this, and then if you just push the one section of it, the knot comes apart so you can recover everything and you don't have to cut your line. Um, so we primarily use this on ridge lines. This is a ridge line setup. I usually let this knot right on here, and then what we do with this knot is this knot is part of our anchor point. So we find our tree, we take our entire hank of ridge line, feed it through the loop, and there's shortcuts to that, but feed it through the loop, and then that's what tightens down against that tree. So if you need to tighten a rope to a tree or a tent peg or your ridge line or anything like that, this is a great alternative, but maybe you need to do something else for whatever reason it may be, and that's what today's knot is going to show. Okay, so here's what we got happening. I have my cut end on this side of the tree or tie out point, okay? You wanna pull enough of that along as you go here. That's important we have a long tail there. Now, what we're gonna do on that side, okay, is we are going to make a loop. Now, it's important when you make your loop that you don't do what I just did, and that is, again, my cut end. See how it goes over itself? We want it to go under itself. So it goes underneath like this, and then over the top of itself. Very important for this knot. Now, you're gonna take your other side and you're gonna make a bite, which that's just a simple fold. Fold in the line just like that. You're gonna feed it through the bottom of this loop just like this. Now, I like to tighten that loop up around that a little bit. So we have something that looks like this, okay? Really easy stuff here. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back down to my cut side, a couple inches, and I'm gonna make another bite another fold, and I'm gonna put it through that loop. You wanna make sure you pull enough of it through. Now when you do that, just give everything a little tug here, and your line is going to tighten up, creating something that looks like this, and then that is a tensioning knot that you can tension up against your tree or up against whatever you need, and you can see I'm pulling a ton of tension on there, and we're good to go. So a very easy way to tie off. Nice part of this, you grab that cut end, give it a pull, whoa, look at that, wow, comes free. So was that easy or was that easy? Wow, I mean, super simple, boom, tighten that down and then break that thing free and you will be good to go. So another tool for your toolbox, try this one out at home. Once you get it the first time, you're it's like, this is easy and I'm gonna add it to maybe my next ridgeline setup or whatever other purpose you might need it for. So, um, all right, fun video today. Hit like and subscribe down below. Also check us out at coldcrackerbushcraft.com for all our classes, gear, and merchandise. And then until the next video, stay in the woods.